Hey everyone, Jason Shaver here, M0A.com. Welcome to one of my favorite places, the Cedar Key Airport. I'm going to take you a lap in the pattern here for a short field takeoff, followed by a short field land. Cedar Key, water on both ends, 2,200 feet. My run-up is already complete. I'm back taxing to the end of 2-3 here again. You've heard me say it a million times, using every little bit of runway. Flaps are already set per the POH. Everything is good to go there. That is all great. Using every bit of runway here and do my best to roll out on center line as we bring it on around here. Nice little displace threshold to help us out here. All right, we want to. We have everything set here. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and give it full power while holding the brakes. Now, with this being on full power, this is a good opportunity, really your last opportunity. Verify engine gauges in the green, everything's good, everything is running smoothly. My feet are gonna leave the brakes at the same time and swap straight to the bottom of the pedals because I'm gonna need some right rudder in there because those left turning tendencies are taking me over. Verify my airspeed is alive. My engine gauge is still all green. We rotate about 55 in this airplane and we are up and flying. We're pretending we're clearing a 50 foot obstacle, so we're climbing out VX, VX climb. We clear our obstacle, lower that nose to a VY climb. And I don't take out the flaps all at once. I kind of baby them out like a five degrees at a time here. Get those flaps out. Sometimes you take the flaps out too much, too fast. You can cause a lot of that sink in that case here. We're gonna fly on out. We're gonna keep this in the pattern here for left traffic at Cedar Key. What a beautiful place. Certainly something to add to your bucket list. Cedar Key traffic to your bike, so lose turn left cross with two, three, Cedar Key. All right, turn our left cross, but now nice to uh, get that takeoff in. We're super light, just myself on board here. Airplane's trimmed up real nicely. Already took the flaps out. We're continuing on through, keeping it in the traffic pattern here. Pretty easy to tell what our traffic pattern's altitude's gonna be since we are at sea level. Rolling out on my crosswind. We'll get a good look at this runway when we're coming in here on final. Coming up, just about ready to turn my downwind, managing my airspeed, even this far out, making sure I don't get too fast, don't get too slow. Here comes my 1,000 feet, anticipating that by bringing some power back, so I'll blow through it, because I could end up being too high out here on something like the downwind. Traffic 2 a Delta, I'd like to uh, back taxi 2-3, Cedar Key. Cedar Key traffic 2 your mic's lose on a left downwind for 2-3, uh, but I'll be fine for a back taxi. Uh, are you going to land again, sir? Yes, sir. We're going to be a, a full stop. We're going to taxi back, though, afterwards. Okay. We can... uh, roger that. I'll, uh, I'll hold short of the runway. I appreciate you. We'll keep it tight. All right. Working with the other traffic, right? All right. Holding us here nicely at 1,000 feet. A beam of my touchdown point already because there isn't much of a runway. Carburetor heat's coming on. Power's coming back a little bit here, and I'm putting in... 10 degrees of flaps, and I'm making sure I'm actually starting down oftentimes too. When I add flaps, I can get a, a little increase in, in, in my, my lift a little bit there as well as I make that wing a little bit larger, cause that increase, followed by that drag here. Everything's looking great. Waiting for my 45 degree point, managing my air speeds, and I'm turning base. Cedar Key traffic to the mic loose, turning left base runway, 2-3, Cedar Key. All's looking good. On base. What a beautiful place. Managing my airspeed, not too high, not too fast. Wings level, going my next notch of flaps here. Looking great, squaring up my base a little bit here. I can feel that wind now, right? Kind of pushing me through. So I almost have a little crab angle on my base. Verify final's clear. I don't want to overshoot, don't want to undershoot. Nice shallow turn towards final. Syracuse traffic to your mic, so it was turned final. Two, three, full stop, Syracuse. Looking good. Notice I'm kind of, this is almost like rounding this out. A, a common problem on short fields too is we'll blow through final, then we try to come back around and save it, and we just, we end up screwing up the landing way out here in the traffic pattern before we get into that critical phase of touchdown here. Pretty little runway coming on in. Don't want to come in too short on this one now, do you? You'll notice we have that displaced threshold out in front of us here. I'm going to aim right for where that 2-3 starts, right at the end of that displaced threshold. Airspeed's great. I'm 75 out here on final, and I only have 20 degrees of flaps, and I'm going to go my next notch here before I get to 300 feet. There's that. I've got all my flaps in now. Everything's looking great. My power's basically back to idle. I'm holding 70 on in here. Everything's looking great. I'm aiming for this water, though. See how I've got the nose down towards the water? Because I know why 172 has that tendency to float here. 
and we're float through that displaced threshold, float through that displaced threshold. Here comes the end of the runway, and there goes the airplane. And we go on the brakes, back on that yoke to add some weight to those mains. If you want to add more weight, some people will take the flaps out at this point. Some instructors aren't so crazy about that idea of taking the flaps out, especially like in a retract plane. They don't want you accidentally grabbing the gear and taking that up. So some will say, hey, we don't touch anything till after the fact, but you know what, to each their own sometimes. So listen, can't wait to read your comments on this video on, on M0A.com, YouTube, Facebook, wherever it is. Enjoy the rest of your day. And most importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you. Pass your check ride or I'll pay for it. Join our number one rated online ground school and participate in live mock check rides and interactive written test prep. Visit groundschoolacademy.com to learn more.